Hmm. Let's try recovering it. Oh god. Ready. No. That was unfortunate. Yes? I guess my skill isn't nearly high enough to uh, recover them. Whatever. Nothing good stim pack or two won't solve. There you go. Right as rain. Alright, let's see. Hey, more black walkers. Who would have thought? Oh wow. That guy got mowed down. Sniper. How'd you like that? Pow. Yeah. This one? Hmm. I think this is another puzzle. Let's see. It's an electronic personal message center. Looks like it hasn't been used in some time. There's one unread message in the system. Hey, Elam. How is life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Do you at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Hope you're still practicing that blaster I gave you. Remember the, what I taught you, because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Oh yeah, this is before Alderaan was, uh, became an asteroid field. Stay away from those swoop gangs. Keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon. Uncle Louie. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Oh, we're not going to be able to recover the mine. Maybe we can disable it. Man, what kind of... What kind of security measures is that? You, like, put a freaking mine, a land mine, down next to your storage chest? Your strong box? Didn't work. Oh yeah, we have to... yeah. Strongbox is a particularly sturdy construction. Lock is a computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. This box is an older, off-planet model. There's no interface for you to try to slice the system. Well, why would they make a system that lets you slice into it if this works just as well? No, this works, this works better than the, the new interface. Doesn't make sense. Alright. Try and enter the password. This strong box is the property of Elematic. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of your pet? That would be Hyperdrive. No, it's Rancor Louie. <laughs> no, it's Hyperdrive. Who taught you to fight, fire a blaster? I think that would be his uncle. And your family came from Alderaan. That was pretty easy. Ooh, Republic mod armor. Let's check that out, shall we? Five, five. Okay, this is upgradable. Five, four. Okay, this is the this is the same as the uh, combat suit, I think. No, it's uh, gives slightly less dexterity. Okay, well. uh... We'll keep the Chani Fiber Armor in that case. And give Karth the Mod Armor. There you go, Karth. Sure. Now we don't look like twinsies anymore. Aw. At least you look more soldiery. Plus you get purple tights. Yeah. It's a win-win situation. Go into stealth mode. I wish you could turn that notice off. It's kind of annoying. Done, done. Done, done. Done, 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 done. Pow. Ow. Garth, come help me. I mean, I mean, shock stick to death. Ow. Help me, Garth. Ow. Well, 
Wake up one. There you go. <laughs> that was pretty pathetic, actually. <laughs> you get you get tasered to death. Don't tase me, bro. No problem. Got it. Okay, this this is the person I'm thinking of. Yeah. This is gonna be a pretty tough fight. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? I was here to collect the bounty on your head, Selvin. You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Oh yeah? Ow. I'm doing damage to you, and you're not doing damage to me. So, huh? You asked for this. Ow! Oh no! Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't look good. Ow! No! Oh. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to use uh. <laughs> at least some tactics, not just blindly fire into her. Let's see. What does Alacrity do again? Let's see. Do 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 utility items. Ooh, bonus dexterity. Okay. I can do that. Go ahead and take that alacrity. Stop right there. Now? Go ahead and uh You throw a grenade at her. You throw a grenade at her. Yes. Ready. You throw a grenade. And you throw a grenade. Yes. Ready. Yeah. Okay. Use an advanced med pack. And, uh. Yeah, I know, I know. Use a med pack as well. We can do this. Ready. Actually, this would probably be a good idea to uh, use an energy shield. I know I have an energy shield. Where the hell did my energy shields go? I know I had some. Yeah, I have three. Oh yeah, I have to equip them, my bad. To do energy shields. There we go. I'll equip one over here too. Alright. Use an energy shield. There you go. You can do it. No! That doesn't make sense, I can... Okay, well. That's good. How can you stun me through an energy shield? That doesn't make sense. But anyways, we killed her. Killed her using our, uh... I don't know. Our advanced tactics. Go ahead and level up. Because we deserve that level up. That was pretty cool. Let's see. Always put point, a point to persuade. Hmm. Let's put some points in demolitions. So that we can uh, do some stuff with mines. There we go. Sneak attack 3. Wow. We're just leveling that up like crazy. Yeah, sneak attacks now add 3 to 18 points of damage. Cool. Alright, what do we want to put our feet into? We can put it into the blasters, maybe. What do we can put into du dueling? Plus 2 to attack, plus 2 to defense. Or do I want more... Hmm. Let's get that extra defense. 
There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot uh, Alacrity gave you extra speed. Let's take out this guy while our, our buffs are still active. Oh. I guess we didn't really need buffs. Get those. Okay, can't get that. And Garth, you can go ahead and pop a stim pack or two. There you go. You should be fine. What? So yeah, now that we've killed Selvin, we can go back and collect our money. stuff for me. Yes, I'm back. I have a bounty I want to collect one. Tell him about Selvin. Damn right, I did well. I want 400 credits for this job. Damn straight, I deserve it. Okay, I've got another bounty. Dead, isn't he? Yeah, at least the job's done. Hmm. I'm gonna push my luck. Ha ha ha. Alright. So awesome, we just got 800 credits. Hmm. What should we spend our money on? You can go ahead and buy more Brazak cards. You cool, cool. Cool, yeah. Go ahead and buy two of those. Go ahead and buy my, a minus two. And a minus four. Let's go ahead and buy a plus minus six. There we go. We risk our lives for the Zack cards, essentially. Let's let's keep on going. Let's go, let's go on into the uh, into the Undercity. This is the lower city, and we're going to go down to the Undercity. Oh, looks like we got more uh, Boker enforcers. Let's go ahead and try out that, our new, uh, what is it, our fancy new... What am I trying to say here? Our fancy new sneak attack, that's what I'm trying to say. But it didn't work. A lot of them saw us coming. They saw through our predator mode. Got this guy. This guy's being annoying. <laughs> yes, it's just telling us about the rapid transit system. We can go immediately back to our apartment. Basically, anytime we want. Is that guy actually a. That guy was a Twi'lek. Oh, so they're not entirely racist in their uh, hiring policies. Oh wow. Okay, um... 
Yeah, it looks like we got a Sith patrol here. Let's go ahead and put on our Sith armor. Top of the morning to you. Hold on, where do you think you're going? This area is restricted to undercity patrols. Without the proper security papers, I can't let you pass. Oh, I need papers now? Yeah, I've got, I've got orders to join up with one of the undercity patrols. I don't know how they do things in the upper city, but down here, we follow our orders to the letter. Without your security papers, I can't let you pass. So just march well. on back to the base, talk to your commanding officer, and tell him you need the security papers. Otherwise, you ain't getting down. Oh, fine. F you too, buddy. Alright, it looks like we're, we aren't going that way. I forgot to turn solo mode off. My bad. Alright, put on our fiber armor once again. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, we need, we need a way to get security papers. I don't think, uh... Hmm. This is a pickle. Not sure what to do. Well, while we're down here, let's go ahead and... Hey! You can't just walk in here! This is the hidden back base! How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Well, I just killed some black Vulcars. You saw me. You're the one who helped me earlier. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. Oh, yes. The days of the Hidden Beck's open-door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. I don't really want a briber. Eh, whatever. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. Oh, I see. And you don't look like you're do you need a persuader test? Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. Whatever. Okay, let's go in. Oh, my allegiance isn't for sale, but I guess I can let you in. Jeez. I'm assuming it's the the fancy guy behind the desk. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. Vulcar Spy? Huh, okay. Might want to get your, like, head tails checked out, lady. I don't think it's... I don't think it's natural for your, uh, head tails to be, like, purple when your skin is, like, tan. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that nice I know to look after myself. Now... How can I help you? Hmm. I need information on those Republic's escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. Everyone's a spy. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this off-worlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. I just happen to have one of their uniforms. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. 
The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. Gasp. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastila's a slave? What will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even no, just out spout it out in front of all the, the hidden Bex guy. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Regix probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never in the basement. Hmm. Swoop race. What does that have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. This sounds, uh, oddly similar to episode one.